joined by Hofstra head coach Shannon Smith following her team's 17 to 2 victory over Wagner. Shannon, your overall thoughts on today's game? It's great to get a win, um, you know, especially with a midweek game and, and coming off a, a tough loss to to Army. Just really proud of our our team and the resiliency and uh, the fortitude that they had and how to dig deep and make the corrections that we need to do. It's so, a overall really really great team win and, and really happy and you know hopefully build on, upon it and get another one later this week. We'll get to the offensive stars in a minute, but really a game like this is about how strong your defense played. Two goals allowed, zero goals allowed through three quarters. What do, what do you say about your defensive effort? Yeah, you know, I think that defensively um, we had some tough conversations uh, and our our players, you know, held themselves accountable and had tough conversations with one another. And I think it brought us tighter and, and connecting more. Uh, and we started to play great. Uh, you know, Alexa is doing a really great job on, on showing film and, and teaching them. And it's, it's nice to see see them starting to put it together and I think they took personally uh, our past couple of games so we're going to continue to grow and get better but collectively as a unit um, I thought we're doing a really really great job down there so it was really nice to see. Uh, and then offensively you had a multitude of stars led by the Manellas. Uh, what did you see from them and Kerry Walzer today? Great. Um, you know, Carrie Walzer was on Carrie Walzer was on a mission today, uh, and she did a phenomenal job running down the field, making smart decisions, finishing her shots. Um, really great job at feeding. Uh, she she did a lot. Um, you know, Taylor Manella really poised. Uh, you know, getting out there in in the offense, and and Nikki, um, you know, being electric with her shooting. So it was really nice to see. And you know, Melissa Scone did, did a really great job at controlling the offense and the pace, and and helping leading the, the pace down there. So. As we could continue to build and, and grow, um, you know, we're going to continue to get more momentum. And it was really nice to see Kristen Redding and, and Lauren Lamb, um, you know, as freshmen get some confidence underneath their legs as well from today's game. Coach, you mentioned how you, as a team, you needed to be better on draws. And uh, today you, you guys won the draw battle pretty decisively. So how important is it for you to see, it's for you and the team to have a day like that? Yeah, we, we, we've taken the draws very personally, um, and it's it's been a lot of work. We're working at it daily with the draw girls, the draw circle, um, and we got to continue to get better and, and improve. It's just such an important part of the game, and the more draws that you can gain, the more possessions we have on, on offense, less defense we have to play. So we're going to continue to work on it and continue to get better, and it's going to be, be a daily thing uh, throughout the rest of the season. Uh, Coach, a game like today, you run a deeper lineup than you normally do. What does it feel like? Do you feel more confident in your team seeing people like Grace and Emily get on the scoreboard now? Yeah, we, um, you know, at the Army on, on Sunday, we had a really, you know, we watched film. We, we had some tough meetings on Sunday and Monday, and um, I think it brought our team closer together. It, it united us. It connected us more. There's a lot of love for each other in that room. You know, we, we as coaches, you know, we really love our team and the players that are on our team, and, um, you know, they're really close with one another, and we, we ask them to really – hold each other accountable and have the tough conversations um, and play more intense and um, you know listen to each other and dig deep and we ask people to step up and today they stepped up and we're going to continue to ask that from them as we move forward. Uh, Shannon, one area your team's been really dangerous this year is the feeding ability from people like Melissa and Nikki. Uh, how has your team grown in that area and how, how do you kind of see that development there? Yeah, we talk about no hero ball, right? Uh, being able to move the ball on, on, on offense and being able to see different people that are open. And we had 10 assists today in the game, which was really, really nice to see, especially against a man defense. Um, but I think our heads are up and we're starting to move the ball. I think we're starting to click and learn and, and starting to find our identity. We have a we have a lot of young players on the field, and you know we have some veterans. So we're just trying to learn, continue to build that chemistry with one another. Uh, Lulu, no goals allowed. Forty-five minutes of action today. Uh, that obviously helps the confidence, doesn't it? Huge. Um, you know, Lulu's put a lot of extra work in with with shots, and uh, it's really nice to see that. And she had some really great saves on the inside. So happy to see that, and and hopefully those saves continue. Uh, Busy week. You got two games this week, which kind of sets you up for how conference works. Uh, you have Marist on Friday, not even a Saturday game. Uh, your thoughts going into that one? Yeah, just excited. Um, another day uh, for us to continue to grow, compete, and have another opportunity against Marist, who's a really well coached team and a, and a good team. So excited to, to play them on Friday. And we get two more days of prep Wednesday and Thursday. So we're excited for it. And, and you know, we built the schedule to get prepared for the double weekends games that we're going to have in conference. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you.